deal with that heat. He said it, that heat that everybody was putting on him. That's why I left. So he's not a man of the Lord. He's not of the elect. That's how you know. Many are called, but few are chosen. Uh, go ahead, Aram Lab. Yep, this, pa- is, uh, Aram Lab. this is um, um, James chapter 2, verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy. Mm-hmm. And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. You know, because if, you know, there, there's a parable where a particular servant, you know, did something wrong against the Lord. And when the Lord came to judge him, he, he begged and pleaded the Lord and said he was sorry. And the Lord forgave him because, you know, he, he really repented. But then another man did something to him, you know, and, and when the man came to him to, to ask for forgiveness, he said, nope, he, he made him pay the full penalty. He beat him, he put him, in, uh, imprisoned him and all that. And when the Lord came back, he said, thou wicked servant, you know, you know, I forgave you because you desirest me. Should you not have done the same for your brother? You know, I'm uh, merely paraphrasing. You know, so if you if if, the, if sometimes you have to be be uh, uh, um, strict and and bring the, the the hammer down, depending on, on the severity of the judgment. But if the if if the severity of the judgment or if the judgment is not if the thing is not severe and if the brother repent, then you you supposed to forgive that brother. You're supposed to have mercy because you, if you're in the, in that situation, you're going to want to have mercy on you. But now, if you come in with some some old broken down bullshit doctrine and and you just got the demons on you, you 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 gotta go or you will infect the rest of the camp you know so you guys out there that that's that's, that's bringing these judges remember there's gonna be a time when you're gonna be on the hot seat you know where you're gonna be on the other side of uh, it, it it don't just go one way because we we all need we all need a savior you know it's, it's, it, you always you know there's times when you, you're gonna do things that that's gonna put you in that hot seat so you got to remember that when you bring in judgment on these brothers, man, especially when they ain't, they didn't do anything uh, uh, to uh, uh, merit that 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 uh, um, that judgment that you brought upon them, you know. So it says they shall have judgment without mercy. They have showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth over judgment. So I'm sorry against judgment, you know. So that that's pretty much the, the, that was it. On I don't know if you have any more. Yeah, oh, you got some. This is um Chronicles, Second Chronicles, sixteen, no thirty six and sixteen. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words, and misused his prophets, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy. Therefore he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees, who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary, and had no compassion upon the young man or maiden, or old man. Or him that stooped for age. Judgments. 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 Like the martial law troops. You know, they've been uh, uh, doing all kind of exercises. Because they're getting ready, man. They're getting ready to make that, that final move, that assault. And a lot, two-thirds of you are Israelites. You're going to be caught up in that judgment. Yep. It speaks about uh, the different kind of judgments that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baal Shem Shai is going to bring. I think there's, uh, I will appoint four kinds. Yep. Let me yep. see if I get that. I believe that's uh, Jeremiah 15. Yeah, we're going to go to that. Yeah, you know, and, and you no, know, this this thing, man, we, we want the Lord to hurry up and do this thing, man, to set things back in, in order, man. Yes. You know, to start putting some fire under your ass, man. Because yeah. a lot of you are still out there playing around, man, and bullshitting, man. The sifting has begun. That's a number. Of, hey, I should make a T-shirt. Everybody's in the T-shirts. Make a T-shirt. The sifting has begun. Yeah, and like Elder Tal mentioned about walking off into the sunset. Pretty much, the sifting is going to escalate to you just dying. All right, <laughs> you ain't going to have no opportunity to walk into the sunset. Well, these guys that got, you know, we brought the degree against them, man. Yep. I don't see them guys coming back. That's right. They're going to play like they're going to go out. Then they're going they're going to walk on walk on into the sun. Now the most yeah. I may have mercy. That's between you and the most high now. Yeah. You know, I can't help you no more. Yeah, you're outside that circle, man. Yeah. Now you're dealing directly with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. And if your ass wasn't right and you were a damn hypocrite, hey, too bad for you, man. That's right. Matthew right. 23 and 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For, for ye pay tithes of mint and of anise and of cumin and have omitted. The weightier matters of the law, because uh, Nate talks about 
keep the law, keep the law, keep the law. And these are they. Judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done and not to leave the others undone or the other undone. Yeah, that, that goes to you, uh, Chicago uh, cats that got kicked out. You didn't. Uh, you forgot about the weightier matter of the law, which is mercy. You never showed that brother in question that Apostle uh, Ricard was talking about. You never showed him mercy, and then the Lord brought him back in, and you got kicked out, and you didn't. No mercy was shown to you because you never showed no mercy. So that's just one to dwell on. But anyway, I'm um, going back to judgment. This is uh, Jeremiah 15. Begin at the second verse. Well, let me start the first verse. It says, Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me. Now Moses represents the law. And Samuel represents the prophets. All right? Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And we know the history about that. How uh, the Israelites were cast out of the, the Lord's sight. And now the Lord is bringing us back in his sight, beginning with the elect. Okay? And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, and this is what we're telling you. We the thou that's telling you. Thus saith the Lord, such as, such as are for death to death. So we're telling you that judgment is coming, and from that judgment is going to be a lot of death. As part of that judgment. And such as are for the sword to the sword. Now there's a scripture I think in Ezekiel where it says the, a sword is being sharpened. <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And an example of that is these martial law troops. These different police groups. That are getting ready man. All right. That are training and they're getting ready for the hour of martial law. Which is going to be very brutal. Uh, brutal. Okay. Thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death. A lot of you are going to die in that, whatever that death may be. And such as are for the sword to the sword. And such as are for the famine to the famine. That's another thing that we teach. Them other groups, they don't even teach about the famine that's coming to America. And such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And a good example of that is those <laughs> concentration camps. That represents captivity. Because a lot of you are going to be hemmed up and brought to those concentration camps. And they're going to force, the main thing they're going to push. They're going to throw you head first yes. in them camps, man. That's right. With great force, man. That's right. There's going to be a change, man. This devil, gonna, he's going to show his, he's going to pull them gloves off, man. Big and change. He's going to take that hat off and you're going to see them horns coming out of his head, man. You Big know? Big change, yep. And they're going to have, one of the main things they're going to push at that concentration camp is the chip. Because they have chipping stations at those concentration camps. And they keep updating this thing on the microchip te technology, man. That's right. But you you clowns out there don't want to see it. And then going back to HODC, you know about the market of bees in the chip, but when it, you might have made one video on it, man. Right. You ain't put, this is the time to talk about that, man. That's right. And you all buddy-buddy with the other camps, man. If they're teaching contrary to what you're teaching, you ain't supposed to have no company with them, man. That's right. Yeah. yeah, it says here, I'm sorry, it says yeah. here in uh, Jeremiah eleven fourteen. it says, because they, they don't like us because we basically don't like them, but we're, we're doing what the Lord told us to do, man. That's right. When that judgment come, we ain't going to give a good goddamn about you, man. <laughs> That's right. That's uh, right. Uh, uh, Jeremiah eleven fourteen. 14. That's right. Uh, Therefore, pray not thou for this people. We're not going to pray for you. This is, a com this is The Lord told us not to pray for you, man. That's right. When that judgment come upon you, we're not going to pray for you, man. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. Mm. He's talking about the Israelites, mm. the, the, the two thirds. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their <laughs> trouble. Yeah. So when that trouble comes, that's right. Don't don't, don't come running to us, man. We're not going to be there for you. That's right, brother. That's right. That's right. Um, I'll finish up and I'll give it back. Give it to you. Uh, such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Right. We gave you an example of the captivity. You got these concentration camps, all right, which are ready to go. <laughs> they got chipping stations in them. They also got guillotines in them. And the guillotines are for the ones that 
reject the, uh, the chip, okay? So it's going to be most brutal, all right? When, when martial law is enacted, it's going to kick off, okay? And I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay and the dogs to tear, as those, the dogs represent the wild beasts, and the, fo and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts, the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. So in other words, there's going to be a lot of destruction, a lot of bloodshed, a lot of death. And that's what we're telling you. That's 